Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 where we are creating our very own Australian transportation company. Now last episode, last episode went really, really well. We managed to extend our big oil line right now and it's absolutely huge. It covers quite a large portion of the, uh, the continent right now. And even then, it's still pretty small in the grand scheme of things. But we've got it pretty much now setting up by picking up oil, dropping off oil. Uh, picking up crude or refined oil, taking it all the way down to the fuel plant, where then on the way back it picks up some more uh, crude oil and drops it off there, and then repeats the process. Doing so well, we have quite a lot of trains on that line, and some of the trains have been upgraded to our new variation of engine, and even the new carriage that also can carry a lot more guts. Now, we also kind of transformed a bunch of lines as well. We're adding in some new stuff. We're now taking the steel over to the machines, the planks over to the machines, and now delivering the machines into Perth. And we just kind of generally just added more vehicles to the lines, and we're making so much cash. So much cash. So much cash, in fact, that we are now going to transform all of these vehicle lines and turn them into train lines. Now, I just want to throw it out there, boys. We are going to be gearing up soon to creating a cross-country network where we hook up and link one side of Australia to the other with high-speed trains, but we've got to get to high-speed first. Until then, we've got to get this area set up. So I want to kind of start our first high-speed cross-country in this vicinity, leading all the way over to this vicinity. So what we're going to do, and we're going to start it in today's episode, we've sorted out this area as one kind of end to the train line by linking up many train lines before we move on to the other. I know I'm talking jibber-jabber right now, but this will all make sense. This will all make sense. If you are enjoying this series so far, make sure you smash that like button down below. Don't rely on the recommended tab to get your next episode. And I did see a comment saying, Seniak, you say don't rely on it, but I rely on it every single time and I get it every... Listen, it's lies. It's a facade. <laughs> subscribe. Okay, guys, subscribe. I asked nicely, okay? I asked nicely. Subscribe. Uh, so, what we're going to do today then? Well, we're going to first take a look at these vehicle runs here and see how can we convert them into train lines one it reduced the amount of cars i have on the road trucks vehicles whatever you want to call them and then i'll be able to control it with one singular train line which i'm kind of hoping we can combine multiple into the train lines to kind of create a network to deliver the goods so when we break it down then what are we actually doing where are the lines technically running well we have the wood here or the, or, yeah, the wood that goes up to the planks that goes directly up to there. So if we had a line that ran up this way, on that line that passes here, we can maybe hook up a line for the food and the grain. And as it extends going all the way up to there, we need to deliver steel that way. So we can also bring a line in that then kind of goes with it up as well. It's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. Well, I feel like this is it, boys. This is where we now start converting and taking big leaps and big step forwards into our transportation company. So I'm actually a little bit nervous about this. I don't know why. We've got to figure out where we can start. We really do. So first things first, then. we I'm going to actually start where the lines may combine themselves. And I'm going to look here. I'm going to look to do it over here. So, I've got a rough idea in my head with how it's pretty much going to work. And what I reckon we do is... Pause the game. Now, I'm hoping I've got enough money for this. <laughs> I really am. And it does mean that we're going to oof a lot of our routes. So, me building this, I'm going to have to get rid of those. So, let's kind of get rid of them. Oh, this is kind of nerve-wracking now, isn't it? Because I feel like all this hard work I've done, I'm now going to say goodbye to it. So let's start then with the perf grain, the perf wood, select them, select all the vehicles, and we're going to sell them. Devastating. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Now, in terms of those lines, Portland, no, perf uh, wood, we now delete it. Okay, 
Uh, Perf grain, we now delete it. Oh, this is feel. I feel really. I kind of feel kind of slightly sick of getting rid of all of this right now, knowing the hard work that we put into it. But it's the natural progression of our company to move over to a train network. So they're now gone. And with them now gone, we have a little less vehicles. We'll kind of delete the vehicles as we kind of technically go along. We're going to get rid of you. Delete that. Delete this road connecting. And what we're going to implement is a train station that can combine all three. And also then bypass to kind of go down the side to link up to the, uh, the machine's factory. It's a big ask, but it should be pretty simple. It should be pretty simple. So cargo station... So get this rock and roll like there. I'm going to make it nice and long. There we go, boys. And we need to be able to connect up. Now, I'm not too worried about it being fully connected properly because the great thing that is about this is train lines can be manipulated to make it work no matter what you do or where you kind of place stuff. So if I place, for example, this here, okay, we're then going to edit and I'm actually going to edit and delete a couple of platforms back to about there. Which would then give us the radius to bend through. Now if I delete this road here and delete to there. Delete you. Delete you. Whoopsie daisy. Delete you. <laughs> it's kind of annoying that I've deleted it and got that vehicle stuck there. But we'll, we'll sort it all out. And then the train line... The, well, with the bypass and all that kind of jazz is gonna run along down this way so if I just put you there as a kind of way to figure out so we can figure this we get the tracks one two three so I'm gonna go for and I know I did it in my past series a pretty standard and simple system to have a bypassing route in the middle and then to utilize the train tracks and the platform either side it's a simple system, proven to work, as long as you don't overcomplicate it and put too many lines on it. But because we're going to have the bypassing route anyway, we should we should be okay. So, we're then going to grab the train track. So, we're going to bring this going... Actually, we're we going to scrap that. And where's the edge of this? Okay, we'll go to there. Hopefully this is going to be okay. And then what we want is you to connect into there. So it does give us a, a 49, 56 bend. So then we'll have to slow down on this bend. Oh, what happened there? I pre oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. There we go. There we go. And then we're going to have to grade it all out. But most importantly first, before we do anything else... We kind of need to make sure that we can connect to these buildings over here. So, cargo buildings. We'll first start with the standard simple addition of dropping you there, uh, throwing you on there to kind of match that, and then a couple of these. So it kind of matches both sides. I just want to see if it's capable of reaching from there over to here. So via doing it by a road... Oh, we're actually quite low down, aren't we? Right, go all the way down. It might be a case where we don't technically reach it. Oh, we do. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So delete that road for just a min. As I then push this out. And just find the right space in. There we go to connect it in. Now we do have a vehicle that's kind of technically stuck over there. So just for the sake of that vehicle, I'm going to bring this going down. And then we'll bring this in here. And I'm going to delete this road going back. And I will eventually try and connect it all back up. And I'm thinking here, building-wise, because you never know where the train lines are going to run down. So sometimes it's... Oh, I'm pressing the wrong... What, why can't I rotate it? There we go. Sometimes it's just easier just to kind of stick with doing a not an end platform so i'll just place that in there real quick and if i just quickly edit this so train tracks right this will now literally reveal itself so just doing what i've done right there is now going to open up 
all of those routes around the Perth area to being then transitioned into a train line. It really is. I don't know if I need to go this long with the platform. It might be a little bit too big. I don't know. I, I'm not 100% sure yet. So where would a train track run from here? So selecting you. And if I brought it all the way down to here where it, where we would want it to connect. And I think that would be fine. And then run this one down as well. It then enable me to kind of sort out where the road's going to run. There we go. Now they're not high speed rail. They're not high speed rail. Because we, we're not in that era yet to have that unlocked. But I'm going to go back to that. I'm going to redo this road to run down. So the road itself will kind of pick a little bit of a straight run there. And then go bendy wendy to connect in. Right, no tunnel. You know my feelings on tunnels right now. I like you guys were like really, really super mad that I didn't implement many tunnels in the last episode. But, um, yeah. <laughs> it's all part of the fun. So I'm actually not going to do that there. I'm actually going to go back a bit. Because I think the gradient will allow me to run with it. So by that logic, I can now press play. And then we're back to normal. The only downside is... Um, I don't have the grain on the go. But I have the planks. Oh, I don't even have any planks because I'm technically not doing anything with the planks. Oh, I just realized I didn't get rid of the plank line. So, Perth plank. Actually, we've got to get rid of the vehicles first, don't we? Right, Perth plank. Ten vehicles. Sell. And then the line itself. Delete. There we go. So the steel line can still run. It's not an issue. Right, so we've got that all up and running right now. I still got to do the connecting junctions and stuff like that. But the whole point of building this first was is because it's going to technically utilize three lines running in. So we've got to determine and kind of uh, figure out where are these lines going to go ultimately. Now, we're going to have one going down. Well, this is going to go down here. We're going to have a turning off section to go this way to connect to all these guys. We're going to have one that comes down. Well, two that, well, there's three in total. So one turns off there. Two come down to here. One splits to run down here into the wood. The other one splits to connect up down to this area. So I want to bring this down. And I reckon we kind of cut it over and crossed into there. And as that bends around there, this turns off to go into here. Damn, there is so much we've got to do, isn't there? There's so much we've got to do. So I'm going to get rid of you. And you know what? To make it easier, because who am I kidding? How much are we really going to be making right now on those lines? Probably not a lot. So I'm going to grab the par food and the Esperant steel line. We're going to select the vehicles and we're going to sell them. We're then going to delete those lines. So per food, delete. Esperance steel delete that way then I've got all this freedom to work in this area I can delete that back we're all good right so let's delete the original connections the truck stops right now won't need you so I might as well just delete you for a minute delete you as well hasta la vista baby hasta la vista so down in this area then we need to implement the train connection in and we kind of need to be able to connect all three but the issue for us is we're on a hill here so it's going to eat into it no matter what i do but that there would work but there is going to be a slight large gradient how far can i go before we lose connection about there Okay, and if I quickly edit this, so tracks, now this one doesn't need multiple, but I'll do double platforms anyway, because you can get them to load from both sides, and pass, no, cargo buildings is what we need, 
throw all these down here. And then as long as we just stick a little, little road over here. I keep forgetting to turn player ownership off. Right, would that work down to there? So by that logic, we connect to all three. Now, we're going to run this down into here, which we're going to have a stop there. So we're probably no longer going to use that as we're going and doing our little back and forth. But it depends on how I deliver the food over there. But that's, you know, I I really thought about that. <laughs> we'll get to that at a later date. So we'll get the two. And I'll run this a little bit further back to about there. And then we should be able... Oh, wrong button. Spin this right round. Have you here? And then on this, same again on this side. We should be able to then connect it via the road. Leading right down. So then this station touches all three, which it does. But this needs to be updated to have a bypassing route. Which will allow that food run to run through this when the wood run is stationed at a platform. Oops, a daisy. Plus when we're also picking up planks as well, that'll kind of help us out. There we go. There we go. So now then, we've just got to connect all these train lines up. And then we'll be able to then at least create the wood to there, the planks to there. Is this a two to one? It is. So we'll need a separate train on both lines. Or separate lines in general. And we'll be able to set the uh, the food run up as well. So train tracks, that's going to go into here. Now we've kept it long so it doesn't kind of lose much of the gradient. I'll get rid of the bridge so we don't we'd have to slow down because there is a speed limit on the bridge. So you're in. You're in. Not you're in as in like PP. Like you're in as in like you're in. <laughs> Hilarious, Soniac. Hilarious. Hilarious right now. And then we're going to connect this in. So we want a nice swooping little bend here. Actually, we'll go a little bit closer. Because the speed limit is... It is what it is, the speed limit. And to be honest with you... We also need to account for the gradient change, but also the Chrissy Crossing. So that goes like that. This is this is to utilize the same train tracks. Right, and then this. So we, we technically no longer need the road now, do we? So I can delete the road. Because we no longer need it. I don't know if I had player ownership on this road. Well, it can now go... Oh, look at the detrimental, I've, you know, stuff I've done to this. Spoovy, spoovy, spoovy. Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, right, I'm going to get caught up right now in smoothing and spend all my money. But I've got to do it. Unfortunately, I've got to do it. My OCD will not let me continue otherwise. Right, so. We're just going to now bring you directly to there. Now, that is a bridge... A bridge and a half. We're going to be not doing that in reality. Because, oh, oh, we also, I forgot I had to say that. We also got to do the going down here. So that's the, that's the snap there. Wait, straight. Because we need to turn off to run in that direction. So if I brought the bridge 
to there. Let me let me just test this. And then how does this bend in? So if I try and not bridge that. And then go to here with this. So it kind of slices round and then off it goes. That will work. So we, we've got one bridge in. Listen, you guys can stop complaining right now. We have a bridge. <laughs> Oh, so much, uh, so much hatred I was getting in the comment section last episode for not... Ha He's like, what's this guy's deal with bridges? <laughs> Listen, okay. I like to see stuff. I'm a visual learner. I, I look at stuff and learn nothing. <laughs> so that's all set up then. So all I've got to do now is create the little connections, the Chrissy Crossies. But look at how efficient that's going to be. We're going to have a wood route that picks up there and drops off there back and forth. A route that picks up the food, or the grain, drop it off there for that farm, um, process plant. Then picks up the grain there for this processing plant, and back and forth. Uh, a route that picks up the planks, drops them off of there. And then once we can implement the steel, we we'll have a, tr uh, a train line that picks up the um, coal and the uh, ore to there, and steel coming away back. Using the same train network, and it's all interconnected. It's quite cool, isn't it? It is, it is quite cool. So let me just quickly terraform a lot of this here because I just got itchy feet, <laughs> okay? My feet are itching right now to terraform. And I probably spent over a million right now in just uh, pointless terraforming. But it makes me feel better, okay? It makes me feel better. Um, right. Bit bumpy in places. I get that. I get that. But I'm on a budget. <laughs> I'm on a budget. Let's sort this out then. So here, uh, we'll start here first then. So we'll do a crisscross there. Now sometimes they like, it, you know, they don't like it on the old bend, but we should be okay. We'll do one over here as well. So I'm doing it a little bit further back than I would normally do it in case I have a train that's way too long. That's okay there. But what we got to do on this? Now, the platforms are quite long here, so I'm not going to push out too far. And then we'll do a crisscross here. So the crisscross is happening. Before the bendy wendy. Well, it would happen if they would allow me to build the, bend the, the crissy cross. Well, I'll go there. Oh, don't do this to me. Oh, there we go. There we go. So that side there is done. This is a little bit of an awkward situation right now because we're bending with it. And then we'll crisscross here. Okay, that wasn't too bad, was it? That wasn't too bad. And this one next. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. And then leading all the way up to this last one here. And then we should be officially able to get these train lines in. And then once they're up and running... Because I know it's going to be quite expensive to build the, the train lines to the steel place. Because it's extra train lines and all that kind of jazz. And I'd rather use the money I've got right now to buy the trains for these lines. So all I'm now missing is obviously signals. So what I'll do is I'll first build the, the grain to food run. So we'll have a... Let me change this to... Do, 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 do. It's going to combine the same, isn't it? So it doesn't really matter. So there to there. <laughs> like, seriously, that's all it's going to do. Now, what I'll allow it to do is utilize both platforms if needs be. So it's free no matter what. But then again, it doesn't really make much sense. It's only really going to benefit that if there's like multiple trains on it. So that will do what we've got to do there. And... Yeah, there's not really much I need to do because that's all connected to there. That's connected to them free. It should be even going back and forth. Now, the only difference is the train tracks don't really know what side to be on. So that's where the signals come into play. Now, they are 
in Australia, so they've got to be on the left-hand side of the road. So if I do one there, and just for now, oh snap, did I do that before the crisscrosses? Yes. Just for now, I'm only going to do it at the crisscross points, because I don't know where the steel one is going to run. I'll sort it out here, though. I'm going to have to revisit these signals. We're going to have to revisit the signals. None there because of that crisscross. But leave it like that. And then that kind of determines where they need to be in. And they then use the bypassing line. Leaving the platforms free either side. For the trains that stop off there. Right. We should really now think about getting a train on, right? Yeah. So... Um, where do I put the train depot? Maybe over here? So if I built it... Because I'm also trying to think. I might build it on this side. Because then I can utilize what, what side of the train tracks they need to be on. Before they hit the crisscross. So, coming down, and then they bend in, and then the crisscross there, no matter if, you know, if they want to go to a certain line, platform, whatever it may be. So, this is going to be known, then, as my Perth Grain, and we're going to buy our first train for it. This is exciting. So, the only downside is, I don't really know how much money I'm going to make on this line. I don't know how big of a train I need to go for. I don't know how expensive it's going to need to be. So, the cargo, the best kind of cargo trailer we can go with is the gondola here. And it does 50 miles an hour. Now, we can go to the PLM, which does 37. But it's the A35, which does 62. Now, that's going to have a lot of um, push power. So, I might go with this one. I might just go for the best of the best to begin with. And we'll go for a 80 capacity to begin with. Again, I could be in the dr complete dream world right now with this. We'll buy it. Stick it on Perf Grain. And uh, we'll see what happens. So let's have a little bit of a fast forward. So it will take a while before we see it like in full effect. Because the platforms need to be filled up. With enough grain. But I'm interested to see how much this is now going to make. Okay, this is disappearing down there first. We unlocked a new um, passenger vehicle, by the way. Now, I'm watching the speed limit. Bearing in mind, it can only go up to 50 miles an hour because of the carriage type. It's up to 48. It does have to slow down for some of those bends. It will have to slow down down here as well. Do you know what? That's not a bad speed. I'll take that. I will take that. So, in it comes. And how much does it load up? So, it's managed to load up 56 for the first time ever. There's going to be a full load when it goes back on the next time. But I want to see how much it makes to determine if the engine on it was the right engine. So, we just wait for it to come back. Should be the right engine. It should be. Alright, how much does it make? With 56 grain on board. 800,000. So that instantly puts us into a profit. It's pretty good. And it's picked up with goods still left on the platform. There's... There'll be 80 by the time it gets back again as well. And you know, you just got to give it time. you got to give it time for the transport numbers to get up and running again. And uh, we are now producing food. So we'll have to start thinking, figuring out how we can now 
Is it a two to one on the green? Yeah. How we can now deliver food back to Perth. But that's a headache for another time. Don't need to worry about that too much just yet. That is now making us money. So dropping off 1.1 million. Yeah, we are now making considerable amounts of money on this line. <laughs> so we want to apply the same logic right now to the wood. Now, the issue with the wood is it's such a short distance. But you've got to hope that it can constantly go back and forth. That That's how it's going to make its money. Well, at least that's what you're hoping for anyway. So utilize both platforms. Call it our perf, perf, wood. Make it brown, the color of wood. Is that brown enough? We'll go darker. There we go. Now nah, I like the other brown. <laughs> right. Okay. So this is the issue now, because is an engine that size with the expenses a year too much for such a short trip there's only one way to find out and that's just buy it get it all set up so we'll add in a we'll start with a hmm. <coughs> as I slowly choke on my own words we'll start with a 48 size capacity and then we'll see how we get on because the benefit is we've got one additional kind of building attached to it compared to like the the grain but there's only two two farms versus three forestry areas it's a case of when it gets when it picks up and gets to there and then back can it generate 48 i mean it looks like it generated more than we actually are going to pick up anyway but once it gets into the swing of things we, we've got to ultimately see so this is a new train on this new line which adds a whole new train to the line in general. We still got to add more signals. Don't get me wrong. Especially on this bit. But it all depends on where we do the turn going in. To lead down to the steel. That's why I left that one open. So this is going to be interesting then. This is, uh, this is the one that I'm maybe going to be worried about the most. Two trains skadoodling down. Now we use this side because it didn't want to cross over. So 383,000, which has already made it a decent amount of money. We could probably add more on, but we'll, we'll give that time to schedule up and down. Now the other line is then picking up the planks and delivering them to the machine place. Which make them use both sides. Making use of both sides. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of this now. Now I know how it works. So planks will go for a lighter color, right? Or is that too light that it can... Yeah, it kind of blends in with that. We'll go with this color, maybe. Yeah. And we'll call this one our perf... Perf planks. Right. So the wood, it's a two to one on that as well. But with the distance he's going to travel, we should get multiple journeys by the time that goes up there and then back. So it should work out. And we'll go with, again, the same engine. Seems to be the one to go with at the minute. And we'll add a 48 capacity on that. Because I feel like we're going to be adding more to the other one. Now, I didn't. Hold on, I mean, pause. I didn't get any signals on this. So I'll just place the basic of most basic signals to begin with. And I think that train here, we're going to actually add a couple more. We'll make it a 72 capacity. And then see how we get on with that. Right, okay. So I know it's only just started. But the path grain is going to be rivaling. It's actually making more money, or just about as much money, as my crude oil line. Now, that's not efficient at the minute, because I've got one too many trains on it. I'm very, very well aware of that. I do have one too many trains on it. 
But it works. Is that picked up planks? It's literally only just got there. This needs another delivery, which the delivery is about to come in. Isn't it pretty cool when it just works? It's pretty cool when it just works, right? Now, that's on the way up. Where is it? Here it is. Now, it's literally all just under half full. So how much does it make for being just under half full? Well, that's what we're going to find out, boys. That's what we're going to find out. Nearly half a million. Well, 428,000. That makes it profit so far. But that, again, fine. So we've replaced all them vehicles... Apart from the steel, with trains, <laughs> with free trains, and it's going to make us considerably more money than anything we've ever done before. Because even the perf gray, uh, wood is up there right now in money being made. Now that is efficient. You cannot deny that is not efficient. Granted, we're still missing stuff. We're missing the fact that we now can't get the food delivered to Perth. But there might be an option where that tra the grain train, and it drops off the grain and picks up more grain. Oh no, you can't really pick up the food from it. But maybe that's where I maybe then do implement a vehicle line. Or we have a separate train that picks up the food, drops into Perth, then comes back up and then goes to the other one. You know, there's ways about doing it. But I think we need to first focus on the train network. So now that's doing what it's going to do, and it's making me money, it can now financially support me getting rid of all of this here. Now, to be honest with you, it's the Esperance Coal and the Esperance Ore. It makes me good money, but now I can see it. Now seeing what the trains do, it's about time we change it. So get rid of all the vehicles first. Then we'll get rid of the two lines. Goodbye. Goodbye. And now we've got to redo all of this. So this will be interesting. This will be interesting. I don't know how possible it is to get both of these connected. Now, I'm not too worried about this one. Oh, a new truck. I'm not too worried about this one because there's only two over here anyway. <coughs> there's a couple of new trucks there, boys. <coughs> Cargo-wise. But we also need to kind of create a bypassing route. So what we'll do is I'm going to pause. And I'm going to delete this road for a minute. Because I need to see how we can get a train line to connect in. Now a train line needs to be there. For the road connection. Which is mildly infuriating. Now, if I was to get the vehicle road here and just kind of push this maybe a tiny bit. It's not enough. This is like the nuances we got to find right now. No. You're just going to find that slight slight additional moment. Any connection is a benefit for us. Oh, get rid of the bend. I know that's ridiculous, but just bear with me a second. So that works to there. So I'm trying to get them on the same station. If I can do that, that's amazing. Something there doesn't work, but we'll now decipher what it is. Okay, it was that road. 
Oh no, that still connects. I mean, it's not perfect. But it connected. Um, right, no ownership on it all. It's just getting it just right again. And then we are laughing all the way to the bank. gonna find those points i mean there's also nothing stopping us all right passenger buildings the cargo buildings deleting these deleting you and putting the, the biggest one on there that sticks out the most because it gives us a little bit extra length to work with So when I do something like this, we connect it. You see what I mean? Sometimes it just takes that to do it. So that's all great, but can I now actually physically connect it on the opposite side? So we'll do what we've done originally. Get us all connected up. And then we go for our platforms. So this is right it right now boys. This is now judgment day. On if this does this feel closer to that than that does to that? Hmm. First things first, we'll connect into here. Which technically doesn't connect to anything. You connect to there. Ta-da! Do I argue about that? No. <laughs> but I do need to fix the road. Now, we don't have highways yet. So the highway that I've deleted... ...has to be replaced with this at the minute. And annoyingly, we're also going to have... No, that can run down to here and then turn him. So that works out fine. That's going to have to cross the highway in some way, shape or form. So what we'll do, we'll delete all the way back. Then we'll, we'll, we'll redo it so we don't need to worry too much. So that connects to both then. So that that's all good. Okay, that's all good for us. And then we'll implement... Is that digging into it as a, as a, as a mountainous area? Alright, we'll go here. Now, if you're annoyed that I like to... Oof. Tunnels in general. You're not going to like this. Now, are we going to be going other ways? Did I do other ways on this one? Yes. But at the same time, I don't feel like the positioning of that now is right. So buildings doesn't need to have both sides of the tracks. I'm only going to delete them anyway. And we're going to pull it like this. And then the road will then connect into it. And then that should still connect fine. Perfect. Yes. Configure this. So tracks. You just never know if you can have trains going opposite directions. But it gives them two platforms to unload on. And load from. Seeing as we're going to have multitude of... There's going to be three lines in total coming into this, so... You know, it makes sense. Um, 
Oh, that's good. That's good enough for us at the minute. So if I select you to run to you, I'm getting rid of the tunnel. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> Can we confirm that? Yes. We're smoothing it and you, you won't know the difference. I just like to see trains. I know sometimes tunnels are really good and it's fun and it's a bit realistic and all that. But I like to see the trains. I'm so sorry, guys. I just, I just, I just want to see the trains choo choo and I just get excited by it. Sue me, okay? Sue me. <laughs> right, to there. To there. There and there. So that little strip there is now perfect. And then obviously we're going to run this. So coming off this bend here. We'll bring that. I'm trying to get to about 50. 50 because then it will it, maintain its max speed. Let me just sort out the signals then. So you would have to stop there. You would have to stop there. You'd have to stop there for the tree of signals. Now, without really paying attention to it at all, where does this like to run? So, mini bridges. That's a long bridge there. I don't know if I like the idea of that. So, no bridge there for me, thank you very much. Uh, no bridge there. Is a 56 miles an hour on that? No bridge there. Do I just bite the bullet and implement the bridge? It just feels a bit weird having a bridge there. You know what? No bridges. Seniac has spoken. No bridges. I don't feel like there's anything there adequate enough to implement a bridge. As opposed to here where we went over a road. So I felt like it was warranted. So now then... We've just got to sort out the old Chrissy Crossy on those platforms, smoothing out all the landscaping, and then we can finally get the trains on these lines. Very exciting. So push you down a bit. So bypassing routes are all implemented. Very good, very good, very good. That all turns in. We'll quickly drop in the signals. So we'll have a signal here. So I'll do the basic signals first. Now this one is really short, so I can't see much happening here. And if I was to randomly squeeze in. Two there, because there's going to be like a multitude of trains coming down. So I might just do that. Um, we'll do a set there. A set there and I'm gonna do a set just here because there's a lot more trains now gonna be going on around here so just like that, I think that's gonna be enough for us so we'll quickly sort out some of the terrain in them smoothing all this so you know people don't cry and when I say people don't cry I mean you guys right now, because you keep crying to me, Sadiac, so yeah, build those tunnels. Listen. Right? No. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Listen, I give you my reasoning. Deal with it, okay? Also, people like the way that sound Mal say Melbourne. So, yeah. What annoys you more, Australians? The fact that I won't build tunnels or the fact that I sound Melbourne? What annoys you more? Let me know in the comment section down below. Yay, viewer interaction. <laughs> Hilarious, I love it. Right, so all I'm now missing is the highway connection, okay? I'm now missing the highway connection. Now, because I don't have the ability to build highways at the minute, right, we're going to first bring that down. Now, they want to create a connection and a tunnel and a bridge all at the same time. 
So why don't we implement the bridge? I'll implement a bridge, boys. And let's just quickly terraform. Make it look half decent, at least. Um, I'm sort this out here, because... Bit rough. And, yeah. Bit of a mishmash with the roads, but it's what I've had to do to get this all to connect, so. <coughs> Don't judge me. Okay, so. That's now all done. That's now all done. We're going to create a new line here to there. Another new line of here to there. I could get this, the same train to combine both, but I don't want it to do it like that. I want to have separate trains to uh, pretty much control it. And um, we're going to call this our Esperance Coal. Our Esperance Or. So Esperance Coal will be a dark grey. Esperance Or will be a neon orange. And so Lower Esperance, Platform 1. You might as well get them to utilise both sides, it doesn't really matter. Could not connect to alternative terminals? Why? Oh, I see why. I put the uh, signal. Like an absolute noob. Like an absolute noob. <laughs> uh, coal, we'll go on number two. By default, but we'll make it utilise both. So they'll utilise both sides there, doesn't really matter. They're now set up. So that obviously is going to unload. But the coal one is only going to load, obviously, coal. And then unload coal. The ore. Load ore. Unload coal. Just so there's no confusion. We've got that down. So let's buy a vehicle. Now is this. Are they closer. Is that there closer to there. Than this to there. It could be around about the same. Oh new engine. No, we'll stick to these. It could be about the same distance. So... A 72 capacity. Is that what the other one was? 72? I'm going to assume it was. I want two of those. That's going to be 14 million. Esperance coal. Esperance ore. So that, they'll now do the job for us. You'll see coal and ore implemented on the platforms. <coughs> And then being delivered. And then we'll get the steel, which will now get set up. From there up to there. So we'll make this bright. And this is our Esperance steel. And we'll get it to utilize both platforms. Utilize both platforms. I suppose it doesn't really matter. And that's all I gotta do then is buy a train for it. So the first trains come in fully loaded, which is good to see. But will it have 72 on the one by the time it comes back? That's the big question, isn't it? It should do. It should do. In comes this train, which that one's going down there first to come back to. Why did it do that? I'm not too sure why. Let's 
going to pick up all on the way back home, right? Oh, does that come in? Yeah, oh, there's, there's over 100. Okay, we de there's definitely going to be producing at least 70 each time. But this should now pick up all, right? And Because it, it's the same distance, same capacity on the trains, we'll have the same amount of goods going in there. Obviously, that coal train got there first, but... Drops off. Is that making a profit, by the way? Oh, yes. Easy. Easy. All right, let's make the steel, make the steel train there. Let's build that. Um, all right, grab you. Cargo needs to carry steel, which is you. And we'll give this a 72 capacity as well. The distance is beautiful for us to be able to do that. So all the only thing that we now don't have is the fact that food was delivered to Perth. That's all that we're now missing. We're just missing the fact that we had food being delivered to Perth. But all of a sudden, we've now been able to combine, manage, and maintain all of those lines within the same train network. Reduces the amount of upkeep that I've got to go. And just makes things a little bit more simpler for us. Uh, steel has now been placed on the platform. Well, it's all dependent on how much goods we've got delivered to produce the steel. <laughs> the steel train's coming in. It needs 70 odd. It won't get 70 odd straight away, but it should do the, like, the next few times. That loaded coal from the other side of the platform. Did, did you spot that? That's pretty interesting. So we can utilize both sides with whoever's free. Right, that's picked up right now, 43. That should be a big money maker for us as well. So, how are these lines doing? The crude oil is now definitely climbing up. Perth grain doing well. Perth wood doing really well. So is the planks. The coal and the ore are now slowly coming into it. And it's completely taken over everything that we've done. Um, you know, over on the Portland and Adelaide side. The steel train is only just now being created. So you've got to give that time. Here is the steam train coming in right now with the steel. And we'll see how much money this makes. Bearing in mind it's also not a full train. But this train does the longest distance. So waiting for a free path. That's because there's another train passing by, right? Oh no, just waiting for that train there to get past the little signal. I mean, I could do another one there to kind of speed up the process. But then I have to wait for this train to skadoodle out. And off it goes. It all works perfectly. It's almost like I designed it to do it all like this. So I just want to see how much money it makes. And then we can rest easy knowing that this big, beautiful network is working as intended. Come okay, on, boys. Come yeah, on. Come on right now. And how much does it make? One point one million, and we're not even full. Boys, what do you think about my new train network? Let me know in the comment section down below. But things are about to get interesting. Until next time, I will see you all soon. So goodbye.